So what we did yesterday, just to kind of recap, was we put g of x inside of f of x. So we put this right there. And notice how stuff cancels out and you end up with x. And if I did it the other way, so if I took this and put it right there, then still stuff cancels out and we get x. That's always going to happen if they're inverses of each other. Both of them. The next one, same thing. We're trying to see if they're inverses. So we do f of g of x, which I'm going to put this right there. So in place of that x is 2x plus 1 over 2 minus 1. <clears throat> now what you can't do is just cancel the 1s and cancel the 2s. There's, you can't do that. You have to put this as over 1 and do it that way or divide both of these by 2. It's totally up to you. So I can make it 2x over 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 because both of these are divided by 2. Now the 2's will cancel. But 1 half minus 1 will not. So since that happened, they're not inverses, and we can stop. Since f of g of x is not equal to x, then f of x and g of x are not inverses of each other. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So what we do, when, and this was old stuff, when you're doing g of a, f of g of x, which is the first step, you take g of x and you put it in place of the x. So that's why I color coded it. This purple 2x plus 1 is just me putting that purple in place of that purple. So everything else over here, though, I wrote down. It's still divided by 2, and it's still minus 1. Then I simplify. This 2 divided by 2 goes with both the purple 2 and the purple 1. So that's 2x over 2 plus 1 over 2. The 2s will cancel. Good question. And you get x plus 1 half minus 1. And then what has happened before on the inverses is these should cancel. Well, they don't. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So since everything didn't cancel and I didn't just end up with x, then it's not an inverse. And we're done. Okay. Good question. And that is the end. So today I am going to give you the rest of the day to work on day 14 or whatever homework you need to work on and upload these. Um, notice over there uh, for pre-cal, I have that you have a test on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, this will be on next nine weeks because we won't have time to get retakes in for this nine weeks. What are our grades there? Um, I know the end of the nine weeks is the 23rd which is the end of next week. I think that's the 23rd. Yeah. Um, but I don't know exactly when our grades have to be turned in. It, it could possibly be before that, or it could be that day, in which case there's no way I could get, you know, give everybody enough time to do a retake. I'm sorry, what? It is everything. Yes, the test will cover all of Unit 1. The last test covered mid-Unit 1. This one is going to cover everything. That's all we'll 
sure you're there. I don't want to scare you, but well, it's all related. All right. So today you get to work on it. Monday, um, I'll review mainly. I'll answer questions from homework and stuff because that's what's going to help you the most, as you know. Because the test, that's you know what it, it's like. It's like your homework, except for it's in a multiple choice or free response form. Um, let's see. Tuesday and Wednesday. Da, 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 da. If you have questions today over any of the homework, we'll, we'll go over it. Come up here. I got a chair. I'll sit here and we'll go over it. We, do we have any questions right now? Are you going to separate the test between the <clears throat> Yes, here's how I'm doing it this time. You'll have a calculator part where you can use the calculator. It doesn't mean you have to. Usually, most of the problems. You don't even have to, but so on Tuesday, that's why it says calc test. You'll have some multiple, you'll have seven multiple choice and one free response question. And the all you'll get to use a calculator. And then on Wednesday, you'll have the non-calculator portion of the test, which will be seven multiple choice and one free response. May I ask you a question? Um, you might want to use that in case you need a graph. Okay. Can I come over here? Yeah. Now let me turn this off. Let me turn this off.